In any situation where you encounter a lot of birds, you're inevitably going to get some that are a little bit on the unusual side. For instance, we've had repeated encounters with a yellow warbler, much like this one, that hangs around some of our nets, that we've dubbed Weird Yellow. We call him this because we suspect he has a malformed syrinx, or the bird's voice-producing organ. The reason I'm talking about this now is because there's actually a decent chance that I have Weird Yellow in my hand right now. We can't be absolutely sure unless he decides to vocalize while I'm holding him, which is unlikely, but we haven't been hearing him around the nets the entire time that we've been processing this guy. For reference, here's what a yellow warbler is supposed to sound like. And this is what Weird Yellow sounds like. Something's clearly gone a little bit wrong. The thing is, bird song's incredibly complicated. There's a lot of deterministic factors that go into a single bird's vocalizations. Most of the song itself is actually learned from their parents, in the same way that human infants learn basic language from the humans that they come in contact with. In some cases, a bird that's been separated from its parents for whatever reason, or didn't get enough exposure to hearing that bird's song, their songs will end up sounding incomplete and distorted. But I don't think that's really what happened here. We didn't manage to get any of it on film, but we've seen Weird Yellow singing on a few occasions. And whenever we do, his beak starts working before he actually gets any of the notes out. Either way, despite the fact that he's doing his best, I don't think he's gonna have much luck this year. 